The start of Metro Conference League play had Laguna on the road. Could the Cardinals take down the Titans? Early on, Laguna Creek used their height to their advantage as Dante Walls comes soaring in for the rebound and the putback. When Burbank's Amari Nesbitt drains this three ball from the wing, the Titans have tied it up at 13. More Nesbitt as he's rocking the green shoes. The toe tap to the hoop. Skip to Malou style. Nice move there as he lays it off the glass. Pretty. Titans up two. Then the Creek's Jamal Watkins is off and running. Gets the bump and the easy lay in for the three point play, but the cards trail by five. In the third, Laguna gets the lead back as Josiah Carr finds KJ Ramey. Cross court for the triple. The Creek go up four. More Ramey as he drops in a little teardrop. KJ had 12 on the night, but we keep the play going. There's Nesbitt in the baseline. Sweet stroke gets him two more. When Isaiah Griffin drives the lane, he gets the contact and is still able to complete the play. We're all tied up at 36. Laguna breaking down the zone as Elijah Gilliard with a nice move near the hoop. He's able to finish the job. Cards up two. Burbank on the move. A Kenyan Teasley with the ball. He takes it to the hoop. Wait, it's the backboard pass off the glass. Griffin comes flying in. Oh my goodness, Chris Weber style. Check this out, Nesbitt slips, but is able to make a bounce pass from his knees to Alfred McDaniels, who gets the hoop and the harm. Burbank up one. Late in the fourth, Laguna's KJ Ramey nails this three, and the cards trail by four. Burbank able to put the game away late as Nesbitt over to Teasley, who makes this crazy windmill looking shot, and that would do it. Burbank wins by four at home to start league off right. It was good, we played hard. It was a it was tough in the first half. We were missing shots. We had to come back and play hard.